and starts with a wall. <laughs> Decided to go live and show our, a bit of our road trip because of the beautiful hills and then we, when I started up we are in town. Well, but if you keep going we'll, we'll go over the, north, the, the, the bridge yeah. to see the salmon jumping. Just know we can't talk dirty now whilst we're on live. That's the River D. That's the River D, but we're going to the Brig of Fuch. We'll stop here. If you're ready to jump out, you can walk over the bridge and take photographs. Well, I'm live now. So that everything we pass, I uh, can see you how you the wind. You hanging like she ran Okay, away. then let's stop. Well, I'll, I'll stop just before we go onto the bridge. Yes. Oh, we were then meeting on the other side of the bridge. I'll wait for you at the other side, eh? Uh. Okay. That's the plan. Right, we can get the foot, foot bridge there. So... Well, that girl's going. Yep. See you in a bit. So this is a part of beautiful bankery. Footbridge over river few. And I probably did not pronounce it right, correct. That's a heron, just landed. That's right. Uh, it's there, hard to see. There's one more over there. Well, there's two herons. That is beautiful. Really, really beautiful. Uh, that's the car waiting for me, so let's go. <laughs> Love being a tourist. It's also beautiful in here. A nice vegetable garden. So two herons. One landed as I was walking over the bridge. So it's worth it. Yes. Oh, oh a beautiful waterfall. I love those rocks. I didn't see any fishes. 
Oh, I don't know what time of year the salmon, oh. but it's worth there up when the salmon's jumping. Yeah. It's amazing when the salmon can jump up those streams. Rivers, rocks. Well, that's definitely a beauty spot. through something like a forest. Even though I do wish I was on horseback. <laughs> uh, this is the Will, the Willy. The right. Willy. What? The area is called Del, Del Willy. Del Willy? Del Willy. That sounds naughty. so nice to get out and get out and see something different. Yeah, just here. Still near register of that road. Yeah. But is this a new road? Just a shortcut. It cuts I off. thought it was an old road. It cuts off about six miles this yeah. road. Oh, I know, it has been here for years and yeah. years. Uh, there's a big Dilwilly estate in there, you see. I imagine it's a big house and an and estate. Uh, yep. I'm even mean, a lot stuck behind the tractor. <laughs> <laughs> Snail speed. I should drive slow, I guess. That would be fine. What's the most 
view of all that, so we all, we'll show it that way. This road is not bumpy at all. <laughs> this is like a vibrator with all these small bumps. It's almost like getting a massage and a massage. Yeah. And we have the hills. Well, you have TV mast and a top one. Uh, well, that's okay, it doesn't roll in the beautiful hills. A TV mast. Well, that's the road we're going, and you see your way over there. Yeah. Somebody's watching, but I can't see one. Maybe not, but or two people have, have looked along. And I would too. But I honestly don't care how many watch along because it's just memories. <laughs> it's fun. a lot when I, well, I worked in Edge in Inverness and it's, it cuts off six miles coming that way you see. Yeah. And I came down here one night, it was about ten o'clock at night, I came to this junction and there was a, two motorbikes coming, well the, they came round this corner and she'd laid it on its side and then it, it, it hit the gun and mm -hmm. she went smashing into that barn. I just wanted to show that sign, Knockburn Lock. That sounds dirty too. <laughs> Anything sounds naughty about this area. Deville, uh, Deville, and then uh, Knockburn. Oh. That's uh, a block they're talking about this for uh, getting yachting and all that stuff going on. You go and yeah. live in weekend and tents and stuff. And there's all the fitness stuff to do. Building here used to be a tea mast, a tail, and pub. Oh. Yeah, that building. Yeah, I can't get in there. For sale yeah. now. Scotland, beautiful Scotland. Even when the sun don't shine. Can see so far out there. Doesn't show on the camera. Most of the trees are all getting taken down with. Yeah. Well, they'll plant new trees. Oh, development. Either all oh, I new trees out here. Lots of cows in this field, lots of steaks. I've got the impression this is maybe the mark. The, oh, uh, again, the rent fields for farmers for Anna. It could be stoppages just waiting here to go to the killing house at Port Leather. Yeah. It's not part of transport, let me see. 
they're getting to live a few days here. Seen of nothing coming down. I was having a scratch, I was saying. Let's see if there's snow on these branches. Yeah. Come up here and they're all hanging in snow. Beautiful. Yeah. Well, we gotta go for a road trip. When it, if it gets a snow window. We should have gone over the Cairn Mount. Have you ever been over the Cairn Mount? I don't know if I have. In the past, not a lot. But I'm open. I like it for, you know, small road trips. Once in a while. Well, we had a reason today to go this yeah, way. Yeah. I never thought about it. We could have gone back that way. It goes to Strawn, the village of Strawn, which is about five miles from Bankery, yeah. up over to Petter Cairn, yeah. Hawk and Blade. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean it, up over. Yeah. You stop at the top and you need to go and put a stone on the cairn. Okay. We'll try that one day. Yeah. Yeah. It's also beautiful over the lake. Yeah. But that would have been a longer road home. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. If I'd thought about it, it wouldn't have been a problem. Mm. I didn't think about it, but halfway home now. Mm. I'm not complaining. I'm seeing beautiful countryside and I'm loving it. Imagine how it will look in snow. But then I've been trying to spin snow in King's Wells. King's Wells? Yeah, I was snowed in. We couldn't go anywhere. Uh -huh. We couldn't get the cars out, the lorry, or the removal van, or anything for a few days. And then apparently I was snowed in at Aberdeen Airport too. But that was only like a little bit of snow. Well, our plane got, little, oh, my plane got delayed because yeah, yeah. of it. In King's Wells, we didn't even want to cross the, over the, we could get out on foot, but it was like walking in a half a meter of snow. I've seen we had a bus beside Lance Kirk and Kinnerp. It was there for three days and we could get a dug out in about the snow. <laughs> it's been that for years now. There's been a lot of difference between summer and winter, usually. <laughs> but if you're into these roads, just... These roads are beautiful, whatever you're on motorbike, in a car, in a lorry, or on horseback, which is of course my favorite. Yet I love on a motorbike, I love passenger in the car, where I don't have to concentrate about the traffic. But as the wee road along here turns off to the right, and that's usually quite a lot of cyclists, it's a good, you can come out to Stoneman Haven and go back round in the loop via this road we're going to way on to. Mm. We'll go into Stonehaven that way rather than...
look at the roots of that tree that's fallen. That, is that, uh, can that storm that we yeah. had? Last year. Look. Yeah. And that one was small, but the other one was big. But uh, mm. I imagine it's at the ground and just saturated. Yeah. And then the roots. It does give in. The ground, three falls. Big fan. thing on that road and that's two cars we hit. <laughs> <laughs> oh that was like the first time I took out a pony that was training up outside Peterhead and on those streets normally no traffic and on the first trip out with it I met a lorry mm -hmm. well it was just a small pony I just jumped off and stood beside it for the first well, it was just first time and I literally only been outside the farm for five minutes. And then the lorry driver stopped and asked if I wanted to let the pony see the lorry more. But of course, then there was a queue behind him for two cars. I was like, no, no, just go, go. Thank you, Boko. Horses. There's a war thing up there, look. Yeah. What's that? It's that from the wall? Billboard. But probably it stopped German tanks and such like. But they never got this far north, the dying, did they? I have a feeling this was used as a training ground for something quite well hidden, see? Yeah. During the war. Swanley. Riding school. Yeah. It's getting bigger and bigger. Mm. Lovely riding arena. Indoor riding hall. Oh, beautiful countryside. I would love to have also. I'll take over the building though. <laughs> Bye-bye, Facebook. You've seen enough of our road trip.